When gathering specific property data in the second step of the appraisal process, it must be determined what type of lot the property is built on. Lot types include cul-de-sac lot, a lot facing the rounded turnaround portion of a dead-end street. Cul-de-sac property is private since it is not subject to through traffic. Unlike rectangular lots, the cul-de-sac lot has a small front yard which is offset by a larger backyard. Corner lot, a lot located at the intersection of two streets. A corner lot does not have a great deal of privacy due to the traffic on the streets it intersects. However, the corner lot may be more desirable since access to the side yard and backyard for vehicles is available from the side street. Key lot, a lot bordered by three or more lots on the sides and the back. The biggest disadvantage of the key lot is the lack of privacy due to the numerous neighbors abutting all sides of the lot except the frontage. T intersection lot, a lot at the end of a dead end street. The biggest disadvantage of the T intersection lot is noise and lack of privacy. There's also a higher degree of traffic related damage. Interior lot, a lot surrounded by lots on three sides. This is the most common type of lot. An interior lot is usually rectangular in shape with a large backyard. However, privacy is limited since the lot is adjoined on all sides by neighbors. Flag lot, a lot located behind other lots with a long, narrow access driveway to the public street. Flag lots generally have a reduced value due to the lack of privacy that results from being surrounded by other people's backyards. Flag lots also lack curb appeal. The physical aspects of a lot include size and shape, slope, drainage and soil, view, exposure to sun and weather, and improvements. Once the general and specific data have been gathered, including information about the lot, the third step in the appraisal process is to analyze the data collected. This is done by carefully studying the information gathered and determining what further research will be necessary. This analysis phase reflects on what we have learned in the prior section. Remember dust, D-U-S-T. PEGS, P-E-G-S. And the appraisal principles of value. If all the necessary research has been conducted, the appraiser is ready to move on to the fourth step of the process.